am I new doing? I saw the vlog camera here and I remembered in Vlogmas. I used to say hi every morning and tell you about my coffee. <laughs> uh, I look super tired today. That's because I am. Um, I had lots of cramps in one side last night. So I, was, I just couldn't sleep. Um, so I stayed up like red until one o'clock. And then I was like, I have to go to sleep. So I tried my best and they're gone today. So that's good. But yeah, it was weird. It was just like in one side low. But apparently that's normal, I think, because there's so much growing happening. Just was really uncomfortable. So <laughs> I'm super tired today. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, since I haven't talked to you in a while, I got to update you on my coffee. Because my first trimester aversion is gone to it which is nice i woke up one day randomly at like 15 weeks and was like i need my coffee so that's good i've been having mostly decaf i put like a teeny bit um of caffeinated grounds in there um today i put a little bit more because i'm so tired still probably under the limit um but i wanted to show you what i found the other day this almond milk almond and oat non-dairy creamer I beat dairy, I just really wanted to try this. It is super good. Again, those are really sweet for me, like I could never just have that in coffee. So I put mostly oat milk with a little bit of that in my coffee. So that's what I've been having. Elsie! Elsie's getting groomed today. <laughs> hey, Lil! Hi, baby. Oh, good morning. Every morning, me and Smalley share a little bit of oat milk. Everyone is out and about except Rosie. <laughs> Hi, baby. This week, we also did something really fun to the kitchen. We went to IKEA. It was an adventure because I feel like everything was out of stock, but they still had it up. So like in the display area, so you'd walk around and be like, this looks great, let's get it. Only to find out that it wasn't in stock. But our kitchen, let me show you the kitchen-ish. Let's look. It's really messy because someone was cook. cooking. I just cleaned it and then cooked. So this is one area. You can definitely tell, but this is actually me the next day because I got mad at Allie <laughs> so much that I couldn't keep vlogging last night because when I was moving things around the kitchen to show you the kitchen, I realized that she'd put a bunch of recycling in the trash and I got so angry that I couldn't keep vlogging. Um, so now I'll show you the kitchen and show you what we did to it. Okay, it is so messy, but this is what our kitchen looks like. So fridge, we actually a while ago painted um, just painted the sides so that it would be a nicer color. And then this is what it looks like. Not too long ago, we also replaced all of the knobs so that they're these nice gold ones. Um, and then we wanted more storage because obviously this is the only storage in the kitchen. So da 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 da. This is the sideboard that we just put in. What do you think of it, Rosie? So we got this from Ikea. It took me a long time to build it, but it looks great. So this is going to be baby storage. Nothing really in here right now, but that's what this is all going to be. And then we're gonna do a coffee station on the top. Obviously this isn't styled and Rosie is drinking, but pretty cute, right? That is a little kitchen update. Another thing that we had to get done before the babies come. We wanted to redo the kitchen, but just not possible. We just don't have enough physical time. So instead, we did that. It works. Allie said she might have vlogged, so she said good morning. We are about to run to Home Depot, just the hardware store, to get paint, doors, all kinds of things that we need for the basement. So here we go. No dogs allowed. Oh, look at all our stuff. We have doors, flooring. Paint supplies. Knobs. Paint. So many knobs. Ready? Back from Home Depot and ready to take on the day. I love this cardigan. It's from Unique Vintage. I think it's so cute. Poor Elsie's with the groomers. Allie said she cried the whole way. It was so sad. Hi, why do you think she was so sad? I don't know. She 
She cried the whole way. I think she well, she hadn't been in the new car, so maybe. Oh yeah, this was her first time in the new car, so but, that might have scared her. And then she also cried. They are I was shaking. I was like, oh, should I just take her home? But she's she minded. needs to be groomed. I got a phone call yesterday. Well, we got a phone call that we had been hoping for, but I honestly didn't think was going to come. So that was really exciting. I'm gonna tell them. We have decided, or I've decided, that I would like to try to breastfeed the twins. Lots of people don't know that it's a thing that you can breastfeed without being pregnant. So I'm going to do something called lactation induction. So I am going to be doing like a medical protocol. Some people do it with just herbs and pumping. Pumping is like the number one I thing. Allie wants to know if you say herb or herb. What do you say? Herb. Oh, you say herb, so you're irritated that I said herb? I was just wondering what they say. Okay, can you guys please vote down below? Do you say herb or herb? The most important thing though is pumping. So you need to pump every three hours, including at least once in the middle of the night. I've known since we got pregnant that I wanted to do this. It has not been the easiest road to get started. We had asked around to lactation consultants and they recommended a local doctor that had experience. The local doctor was out sick. So then Allie brought it up to her OB, the one like following the pregnancy and they thought it was a great idea. They're like, let's, let's do this. Here's a referral to the doctor that has experience with it the same doctor that we had reached out to and wasn't able to see us. So they sent in the referral, we're excited, we're like, yeah, this is gonna work out. Mostly because the doctor was like, I literally just saw this doctor, I know that they're, they're working. It had been a couple weeks, hadn't heard from them, so called just to be like, hey, did you get a referral? And they said, sorry, the doctor isn't taking new patients. They are on sick leave and only working part time, so they're unable to see you keep calling back maybe once a week and maybe we'll be able to get you in. It's a really timely matter and the longer that you're on the medication before starting pumping, typically the more milk you'll produce. And we're already 18 weeks in right now. And I still haven't started the medication. So we were starting to get a little stressed about it. Well, I was, I don't think Allie was at all. Yeah, but, I was, I was oh, saying you gotta, we were getting stressed. We're just, we, won't we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, there is short protocols that don't involve the birth control and stuff, but this is the way to get the most amount of milk. And that is a priority to me because we're having twins. Started reaching out to doctors in other parts of Canada that could do virtual care and see me. Tried to get in with local doctors just to see if anyone would be willing to try it. So I contacted the doctor, said, can I get a referral on Friday? Here's the form. And they said, of course we can get that in for you, but you didn't send over the form. So on Monday, I sent over the form and probably like 30 minutes later, I get a phone call and it is the doctor that's local, their office saying that they can see me this Thursday. So tomorrow, that's what's happening. Very, very fun. I can't believe we actually got the call. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. May is a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma, and provide support to anyone struggling with mental health. So the theme of Mental Health Awareness Month this year is Together for Mental Health. Everyone is encouraged to share their stories, their mental health stories, to help people feel less alone. We actually both go to therapy. We do. I have both social anxiety and something called trichotillomania, which is a hair pulling disorder. And therapy has been absolutely life changing for me personally, um, specifically when it comes to my hair pulling, because it was just something that would really get me down personally. And it's not something that many people talk about. Lots of people don't even know that there is a mental health condition that causes you to pull out your hair. Therapy has really helped with my confidence and helps me pull less. And then also it's been really helpful for my social anxiety. I mean, you guys know that I'm actually also driving these days. Ooh. Thanks to therapy. Yeah. Because I need to also learn how to drive. So you probably also know that I used to have very bad health anxiety and just general anxiety about the pets, mostly, and my health. Um, but therapy's really helped me work on those and give me the tools to 
I wouldn't say it's totally gone, but to deal with those things when they do arise, which is awesome to know and recognize. Another big theme of Mental Health Awareness Month is advocating for access to mental health care, which is something that BetterHelp is really passionate about. They offer customized online therapy, which includes phone, video, or live chat. So if you don't wanna talk on the phone, you don't have to, which is awesome. I think that's really cool. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy. And you can apply for financial aid during the sign up process, which is awesome. And they accept HSA benefits. There is a broad range of expertise in the over 20,000 therapists with BetterHelp. So they also can give you access to help that might not be available in your area. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours, which is super quick. Then you just schedule your video and phone sessions and you can exchange unlimited messages. I found my therapist, Maria, super helpful and she's given me lots of tips and tricks to work through that health anxiety I was talking about. And if your therapist isn't a good fit, you can request a new one at any time with no additional. So this mental health month, if you or somebody you know is struggling, please share better help with them and hopefully you'll find it as helpful as we have. And you can use this link right here or click the link down in our description box to get 10% off your first month of better help. Better help, H-E-L-P. Yeah. What are you doing? Do that face again. How did I do it? I'm actually gonna throw up from that noise. Allie, stop. I can't wait to show you the guest room because so much has been done since you saw it last. Let's look. We're inside. It has walls, it has paint, it has closet doors, it has a bed. Um, so let me tell you the reasoning for that. So I brought down the guest room furniture because next week the nursery renovations start. So we had to get this room done in time, well done enough in time so that we could move all of the furniture down here so it was out of the way of our contractors. So there's still a few things to do in here. You can see we have a ceiling and we have lights in the ceiling. So that's done. The walls need one more coat of paint. And as you can see here, we need trim around the places that you trim. Um, and then also we need to put a door on this and on this. I've told you guys that this is only going to have um, like a door down to here and then this we're going to do as like built-in shelves for extra storage so it's really coming along right? Can you believe the change? Also look at the floor. I love love the look of it and then this is what it looks like. We need to frame out around the windows still but look at this. I think I like the bed here and then we'll put um, obviously we need one more plug put in right there, but I'm thinking we might do matching end tables on both sides. And then here, as you can see the start of it, um, we are going to put in a coffee nook. So eventually it'll have like a mini fridge and then like a shelf. And then the mini fridge will have like drinks and my mom likes energy drinks, like energy drinks, beer for when my dad visits, you know, all the things. Um, and then like little creams and stuff. And it's gonna have a coffee maker and be a little, a little drink nook. We could also do like snacks and stuff on it. And hi, here I am. We might use this cart for now, we'll see. Um, and then yeah, it's really coming along. Right here where you're looking at is going to be a long dresser instead of this stuff that's just sitting here. And then we're gonna mount a TV right here and uh, yeah, that's the look. Wanna look at the ceiling? Don't let the lights blind you. Whoa! Okay, now, do you wanna see what we're working with with the nursery? Oh, it also has its own, <laughs> its own light switch so that it's off the um, breaker with all the rest of the room so that people staying down here can control the light themselves instead of having to go to the top of the stairs. So, if everyone remembers, our room is on the right when you come upstairs. The nursery will be on the left. Um, ba -da -da. All the furniture is out, except for this dresser. We're gonna get rid of this because it is old and broken and just not serving us anymore. That's the TV that'll go downstairs and the record player, amazing. And then it's just all baby stuff now. So we have one bassinet made. There's the other bassinet. 
We have baby stuff, baby stuff, baby stuff. That's a crib, baby stuff. It's also feeling really nice to have a place to keep their stuff because they have a lot of it already. I honestly don't know what we're doing here yet. I know we're putting in a closet. That's all I know. Allie and I still have to discuss it, come up with our plan. I told you that I had a appointment with a doctor for inducing lactation so that I can breastfeed the twins even though I am not pregnant and I wanted to tell you how it went. I was honestly really nervous because I wasn't sure how knowledgeable the doctor would be about inducing lactation just because you never know. I hear a lot of horror stories about people's doctors being like that's not even possible and I know and knew that I was referred to her because she had experience with it, but also that could mean just like doing two people in her career. So I was shocked when I got in there and she said she's done about 500 people. Like she's induced lactation in about 500 people. Seems like a very big number, especially for like where we live. Right, Allie? Oh yeah. So she was very, very, very knowledgeable. She was so supportive and encouraging and like I just left the appointment with a really good feeling about everything. Um, so she had to do a breast exam to just look at everything, feel everything, make sure that I have breast tissue because I guess some people aren't born with the breast tissue that you need, like the glands and stuff, the glandular tissue that you need to make milk. So she had to check for that and also just for any tumors or lumps and bumps because um, certain hormones can accelerate breast cancer. None of that was found. Everything looked really good. So she said, that's great. And she asked me some screening questions just to make sure that I would be a good fit for the medication. And I was. Um, so she prescribed me my first medication and I will show it to you. Let me preface this by saying I am not a healthcare professional. This is not medical advice and everything I am doing is under the care and recommendation of my doctor who is a specialist and has a lot of experience with this. My first medication is a birth control pill that I'm going to take for six to eight weeks. You need a certain amount of estrogen and progesterone or a certain ratio of both. And then I take two pills a day, which is a little unique, but she actually has her own specialized protocol. Hello. You wanna show them the bump quick? There, the show belly. them the tingle. Turn to the side. Look at the belly. She's there too. <laughs> <laughs> you goose. You goose. I can't remember where I was. Six to eight weeks of this medication, the birth control, and the whole point of it is to mimic pregnancy. I'm on that. Uh, no real side effects. Um, today is the sixth day of it. The only real side effect that I'm having is I feel like someone has rubbed my nipples with sandpaper. So there's that. And the first two days I woke up feeling kind of sick. That actually used to happen to me when I took progesterone for pregnancy before I, um, when I was pregnant. So could be that. Oh, what I was saying was, yes, this protocol is different than the standard, um, or like the standardized uh, Newman Goldfarb, Goldfarb Newman protocol. She has found in her experience with this process that this way, the way that she's doing it with me, she finds works better, um, that it is more successful and that people produce more milk, which is the goal. So that is why this is different. I am not taking the medication called Domperidon that some people take um, at the same time as breast, breast control. Birth control, I am going to be doing six to eight weeks of birth control and then taking a, another medication stopping the birth control, starting another medication um, called Domperidon, I believe, which increases prolactin levels. I will start pumping every single day, every two to three hours, including in the night. I think I only have to do one in the nighttime, but that's the game plan right now. Feeling good, feeling really encouraged uh, and super excited. So hopefully this works out for us. I'm really, really hopeful. Um, I know it's a bit of a different process that a lot of people haven't heard of. So if this is your first time hearing about inducing lactation, make sure that you leave um, your, just your comments or your questions, I mean, down below and I will try to get to them in a future video. I guess I will also leave the vlog here. Um, it was nice chatting. I feel like this is a long vlog, so hopefully it's not too long. Sorry, but we'll see you guys back here for another video really soon. Okay, bye.